from up here as well. Then you turn inside again, and that is then going to be the library. One of my favorite, that's impossible. It's set up in a one-way system. And you will come out the very same way we are going to enter. Super easy. The first this part, outside. It's interesting, they replace the Rococo kind of paintings and work with modern as a runner. I guess it's the church, that's a cathedral with the double barred cross. There are tubes in here now. There is another modern depiction of a fountain. Maybe an angel hovering around the fountain, can't really tell. And there's a modern blind justice. Someone begging at her feet for mercy. And the time is 9.15, I think. Well, we are docked on our GLC Grand Circle Line trip in Vienna. We've just come back from a city bus tour. Folk and I are reminded of the four days we spent here many years ago walking museums and the beauty of Vienna, so we are not taking the walking tour because we're tired. And here's the Danube and the typical radio tower. And here's an interesting architecture to this building with the jutting out angles that it has. And there is a lighthouse right in front of it. We're ducked next to another Grand Circle Line cruise, the Adagio. We're on the Rhapsody. It's many, many churches, beautiful churches all over Vienna. 11.30 in the afternoon, and we are just relaxing on the upper deck, reading a book, focus taking a nap. A nice, quiet day. Our last day and night in Vienna, we leave tomorrow for Brussels. Well, we're starting our walking tour of Antwerp with our guide, Brita, who is quite verbose and very Germ German, as Volker says. Volker's right in there. I'm not even sure she has a microphone thing on yet today. But we have a beautiful day. It started out chilly in the 40s. It's probably up to the 50s, going to the 60s today. This is just a typical neighborhood we're in. A little statue and a little park and a mural on this building that has apartments and a store and a warehouse behind it. It's a lovely area here. Walking down the street in Antwerp. Have you ever seen one like this? Yeah, I do. Here is a bicycle built especially for baby carry. carrying. It's got a long wheelbase, a big space in front of the handlebars with this cover over it. We should bring it back to Jennifer. Well, here's the Cathedral of Antwerp. Right behind me is the coffee shop. I think folks are going to want to sit and have a cup of coffee and go to the bathroom. And it's around the corner from the Guild Center, similar to what they have in Brussels. I'm going to walk around the corner now. People are coming out of church. These are all candies in here. Probably chocolate. Asparagus, champignon, mushrooms, little animals, strawberries. This is Brussels, and this is Belgium. Belgian chocolates everywhere. They love their chocolate. And this is the Guild Square. All these buildings represent one of the major trades of your carpentry. Artistry painting, point probably electrical work today, but back in those days with lead handing, and it was even one that folk of belong to. Look at the one with the ship on top. Isn't that pretty? That was the sailors, the Navy captains. A beautiful square. And is that Euros? Who's that green guy in the middle? Did you hear? Yeah. Some dogs for meeting here. It's like a dog square. All these good looking animals. Oh, I think it's Mercury. Some seals on the bottom. Running out of battery again. We're in the main square here, and behind this building is the cathedral I was looking at before. The right hand tower had not been repaired from World War II yet, still bombed out. And this had, in fact, um, uh, a, a, a head from, from Gouda. Gouda, we say, call it. You say Gouda, we say Gouda. Well, we've just had an hour's ride out from the ship 
to the Delta Park, the largest dam project in the world. We're going to see some videos and be introduced to how they made this thing. Got a uh, mermaid here as sort of the symbol of it. And here is an example of where we're at. It's a playground. They've got kids rides. They've got a seal show or some kind of seal. Where is where'd the seal go? Number five. You can watch the seals play if you don't want to go into a claustrophobic room. As she was just describing, they put you into a sensory situation where you experience a surge and a flood in a duck room. Well, here's the mermaid symbol. And she's holding an egg, or what she's holding in her hand. And this is the Delta Park Milk J. Jones. That's a girl's name that's common in Holland, or at least this part of Holland. Another view of the parking lot and the huge windmills they have all over the place. Here's a map that shows um, the Netherlands, bordered by Belgium on the south, Germany on the east, and these are the words that they're talking about right here. And we're going to go in on something called the Delta Experience, which is this sensory experience I think we'll have. I'll tell you more about it when I come out. Just come out of a very powerful multimedia sound and shaking of stages of the storm that created that mess on the picture and caused this new delta system to be visioned and then built. Unbelievable project. And this is some walking through a, an ex exhibition of the equipment that they built and then the laid floors under the equipment first and then drop this is a cross-sectional view of the actual storm gate being dropped into position. So they drop the dikes down, they don't lift them up. And there's a section that's showing you the gate that we're in right here, up from Middleburg. I don't even know if that's a town or just name of an island. This is part of the control room. A series of joysticks moving the equipment around and there was a half a dozen of these maybe there was one for each one that they were dropping into the, the position this is a stone barrier on the bottom the gates sit on they were compacting this and then we saw a film of the road being laid they constructed it on land and then they put it on rollers and Drop the storm surge barrier, it includes the orifice of the estuary. Now this microphone is going to pick up the sounds. Behind this wall is where we went through that experience of the storm itself. These are some of the pictures of storm and storm damage. And there's a map of this section of the Netherlands, which shows where the dotted line shows where they're putting in the barriers, or the area that they're protecting with the barriers. Motorcycle club is pulled up here. <clears throat> All have their yellow jackets on, safety preaches. Some are vests, some are jackets, but they're all wearing that. Very safety conscious. And we are in the dunes. This is all man-made stuff here. This is a the first pier they built. He called it a pier where those tall concrete structures are as a test. The first one, there's 66 piers, he said. And now we're looking at them in a row. There they are, where the, that's the road we came over where those piers are. We're actually below sea level here. Five big surge barriers. This is one of the five. The tide is coming in at about nine knots. The tide rises nine feet here. So it probably covers those rocks at the base. When it hits the red line, the locks come down. It takes about an hour to get the locks in position, so they need a good advanced warning system. He just mentioned that this project was funded by national ga uh, natural gas sales, about eight billion dollars, 1970 dollars, and they have been experiencing small earthquakes.